Now you're going to love this. Toy manufacturers and sellers are expecting the summer toy business to be much better than last year, even if the weather doesn't cooperate. One of the key sales drivers are product tie-ins from blockbuster movies and television hits, folks. And here are some examples of the summer's hottest toys. It's Marissa DiBartolo, senior editor of the Toy Insider and the Big Toy Book. Well, welcome to Arise Exchange. Thank you for having okay, me. Okay, you're much younger than me. I am. I'm a relic. I'm a fossil. <laughs> Stickball, okay, uh, the tops and stuff like Don't that. Don't I mean, worry. Classics cool are still around. They're still yeah, around. Okay. They just but, might look a little different. I mean, kids, I mean, <laughs> they haven't made that. Look, let, let, let's get into this. Yeah, You're let's talking do about it. a lot of toys that are coming from blockbuster hits and TV shows. Exactly. So there are tons of summer blockbuster movies that mm -hmm. kids love. And, you know, having toys based off movies gets, gets, you know, kids are able to take home a little piece of that movie magic with them. So we have DreamWorks, How to Train Your Dragon 2. That was a big hit. And then in August, we have some even you know, newer films coming out like Guardians of the Galaxy. What this is, is this, a, this thing? is a new Marvel film. So this is Star Lord. He's the main the main hero in but the film. But how do you play? This is like a glorified GI Joe. Yeah, he well he's a real serious action figure. Oh hey, funny rocket. He's ready to go. Oh my now goodness. Now we have turtles. Okay. You know Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Uh -huh. they're coming, Cowabunga. Yep, they're coming back to the big screen this year. Okay. And then even though it's hot outside, we have to talk about Frozen. This is Disney's number one property, and kids love the film. So You're, even though it's okay. hot, she is still selling like crazy. Retailers cannot keep frozen products on the shelves. Unbelievable. Yeah. I and mean, we have this little dragon down here. Yeah, this is from DreamWorks, How to Train Your Dragon 2. If you want to just pull his head back. Whoops. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> yep. So he shoots his little launcher and look, now he's uh, ready to fly. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Give me a break. All right, let, let's move on here. So now Let we me... have some messy toys. Kids love to make a mess in the summertime. We get to take all the mess outside. So mom's happy, it's easy cleanup. So this is some scatter spray. If you want to pick that up and pull the trigger. This way, this way. Whoop, oh, careful. Uh, wait a minute, you told me to pull it this you gotta way. Gotta go this way. Right here. Woo, there you go. Oh, nice, okay. fun, messy well, you know toys you gotta for pay kids. For this. Ah! There you go. Fair, fair, that doesn't fair, work fair. for me. I got a dud. Yeah. Okay, now. Still fun. I remember so, as a kid, we had a little plastic stem with a, like a hole on it. You, yeah. You, you dipped it into some Bubbles. soap and this, but now you've got a machine here. Yes, now we have Look a much more high-tech way to play. So this is the Bubble Fantasia. You press this button and you get thousands of bubbles in just a few seconds. Oh, that's nice. Can I yeah. try that? Go ahead. I'm a big kid. Yeah. Oh, I love it. It's a lot of fun. Isn't that great? Yeah. Oh, great. Andrew would love this. Can I take this one back? <laughs> you can. Oh, I love it. So now Chuck. Everyone knows Sidewalk Chuck, right? But now Crayola is stepping it up and mm. they have grab-and-go games. So now you get chalk and accessories. So kids can create big game boards on the ground mm -hmm. and then play with the accessories. So they well, have see, a whole this, new way to play. This reminds me more of something that I used to have as a kid. Yeah. You know, like there's this game that was called this Skelly. Where you would fill like a top of like Hellman's mayonnaise <laughs> and put wax in it, and you'd, you know just scoot it across the board, and you would have to use chalk yeah. in order to make the board. Yeah. So there you go, nice and familiar for you, right? Now, w what are we talking about in terms of prices on this? This is only stuff? six fifty. <laughs> nice, nice low ah, price point. Keep mom and dad happy, right? Now you're talking. Now you're talking. Yeah. I, I, I want to go to one thing here. Okay, let's do it. I wish our, our director, Jack Neesey, was in here. Okay, so uh, water blasters are nothing new, but they get bigger every year. So this is the Nerf Super Soaker Tri-Strike Crossbow. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, it's got quite a name, but it's a lot of fun. So you can shoot this water from here like a regular blaster. Okay, let's get to it. All right, go ahead. Okay, Where are you now, shooting it? Well, wait, how do you, how do you, how do, you do this? You thing? just pump this right like this. There you go. Oh, that's all? That's it. Who can I get here? <laughs> <laughs> this is... This is this is fantastic. Yeah, okay, now watch. It's, there's two ways to play with this guy. Uh -huh. So you pull this trigger, and uh -huh. bam, now you got a crossbow with three water streams. So pump the button again. Okay. There you go. Oh, wow. How about that? Now I'm Robin Hood of Life. Everyone's play. getting soaked. Man, Marion. <laughs> <laughs> this is great. So, yeah. I mean, how much is something like this one? So, this one is only $24.99. So, okay. everything I brought with me today is under $25, mm -hmm. which is really a great price point. That's exactly where parents want to be when they're gift giving. So that's really great for manufacturers. That scooter over there, can we get that real quick? Oh, this, we miss okay, that? this one is a really fun ride on. So, ride ons are a great way to get kids active. This is the Razor Junior Zombie Kick Scooter. So, not only do you get active play, but you get imaginative play. So, kids can hold on to the handlebars and feel just like a zombie. All right, Marissa, I think you got some great toys here. I think I'm converted. Anyway, thank you for joining us. <laughs> thank you for having me. I think I'm for some of my little nieces yes. and nephews. Yes, absolutely. And we want to point out it's the 40th anniversary of the best selling toy of all time. 
Hundreds of millions of the brightly colored cubes have been sold since its inception. We're marking the, the, the milestone of the, the giant Rubik's Cube. And a giant Rubik's Cube is actually cruising down the Hudson River, New York. Take a look at that. I could never figure that thing out. Anyway, that's all for Rise Exchange. Thanks for watching and enjoy your weekend. I'm Julian Phillips. Andrew is back on Monday.